boys and girls. I'm so glad you joined me again to make another Craft to Go With Our Story Somewhere Else by Gus Gordon. I can move my stuff here so you can see the book. Somewhere Else by Gus Gordon. In our story, George was a bird who didn't ever learn how to fly, so he never went anywhere. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a craft that went along with flying, but I don't have wings and I can't fly, but I can make an airplane. And so I found this really cute um, paper towel or toilet paper tube airplane that we can make today with just the simple things that you have at home. All you need is either a paper towel or a toilet paper tube. Um, you're going to need some scissors, some paint, some construction paper, and some glue and your imagination. And we can go ahead and make this airplane today. So the first thing you need to do is get your toilet paper tube. And if you have a paper towel tube, just cut it in half. And if you have a toilet paper tube, this works out fine too. And what you're going to want to do is make some cuts in it. Now, we don't want kids doing this. This is something that we want parents or caregivers to do. Or older um, siblings maybe can help with this too. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Cardboard is harder to cut through than paper. Um, and in order to do this, you need to puncture through and then cut like a square out. And then you also need, and you want to do it um, about, you know, almost an inch from the one end of the tube. And then on either side of that square, you want to cut one inch strips. And you can either use an X-Acto knife, again, you need to be really careful doing this so nobody gets cut, and or your scissors. And you also want to do a half inch slit at towards the other end of the paper towel tube as well. And last but not least, you want to cut one about three quarters of an inch right up along the middle here. And that's where your tail fin's going to go. And when you have your tube all cut, you can then paint. And for our plane, we opted to go with Caribbean blue, because that's a really pretty color blue. But you can use any color paint that you want. Um, we used uh, one coat on this, it covered it really well. But you may find that with some paints, like a lighter color paint, you might need to do a couple different coats. So once it's all painted, you want to let it dry. And this will take, oh, depending on how much paint you used, an hour or two, maybe three. Make sure it's really, really good and dry before you proceed. Um, and in the meantime, while you're doing that, you can cut out the pieces that you're going to need to make the rest of the plane. If you don't have these items, or you don't feel like cutting all those pieces out, or cutting the holes in your tube, you can come on down to the Herm Memorial Library where we did all the work for you. Well, not all the work, but we did a lot of it. The tubes come pre-cut out, and um, you will get your wing strip provided and your back tail wing strip provided. You will get a card with a propeller and a tail drawn out on it for you, and you can just cut those out. Um, the only thing we do not provide for you in the craft bag is what we call the cover piece, because we don't know what color paint you're choosing to color your plane with. So you have to pick a color paint that you have either cardstock or construction paper for at home. I do have a Caribbean blue colored cardstock at home, so I chose to go with that. And what I did is I just cut out a square and then you're going to place your cardboard tube down on top of it and with a pen or a pencil, just trace around the edges of it. Because what we're going to do is we want to have a perfect circle that matches your tube cut out. And there you have it. And we'll just cut this out like so. And this will be the only thing that you'll have to provide in your kit. Now I make sure I have that, that's a nice fit there. We'll test it. Looks like I could round my edges a little bit here. A little bit there, okay. And because every, tu every tube is gonna be a little bit different in shape and size, you need to make sure that yours measures accurately. Like so. Get it to fit really nice and good, and that's how it looks. Okay, so then the next step will be to cut out your propeller and tail. The cards that you get from the library have the propeller pre-drawn on it and the tail. I cut out my tail for this one separately. Um, if you aren't able to make it to the library and you want to draw your own, these are easy to do. I traced a dime on a circle here, and then I just free drew some fan shapes outside of the dime in three areas. And then the tail is just kind of a, a triangular-like piece with a rounded top with a right angle edge and then you notice we cut a slit in it so that we can slide it into the back of our plane. 
So to cut this out, just go in and kids can do this. This is pretty easy to do. Make sure you're using safety scissors um, and not your mom's good sewing scissors. We don't want anybody to either get in trouble or cut themselves. And cut this out nice and to the point and peak so it looks like a fan blade because that's really what the propeller on a plane is. It's pushing the wind back to create lift so the plane can go up in the air. And almost done here. And there's our propeller. And then to make the wings, you want to take the long strip that we have and so that they're equal on both sides, gently fold, but do not crease. Don't push that to a crease. And then you're going to want to cut to a middle point here to kind of tip the wing. And you want to kind of figure from what point here on the midsection you want to start from. So you can repeat it on both sides. And then you want to come down here and come on the same kind of angle. And then maybe round off the top. And then you have wings that look the same on both sides. And then last but not least, we're going to do something similar with the back tail. Here we just did a diagonal cut, so we gently fold this one over, line up the edges, and we just cut a diagonal off like so to make a pointed edge. So now everything's ready for assembly. So this sometimes can be kind of tricky because these cardboard slits, especially after you paint them, can get kind of hardened and crustated in there. So you might need to poke a fingernail through just to make sure those slits are good and open. And then you want to take your long wings and you want to slide it through one side. And you have to kind of pull it through a little bit and work it. If, you're, if your slit isn't quite long enough, you might need to um, go in there with your scissors and cut again. Uh, make sure you ensure that you've got it long enough and kind of work it through. And then when you get it inside, you have to work it out the other side. And I find that if I kind of pushed it in, I could pop it out through the slit. Sometimes those little fingers are easier than grown-up fingers. There we go, it pops up through. And then you can work it out this side as well. Again, if your slits aren't quite long enough, you can um, make them a little bit wider. And you just want to pull it all the way through so that it's even on both sides. Be careful not to rip the paper. Okay, and then you want to do the same thing with your um, back lines too. Again, you might need to break through the paint that hardened over your edge. Slide it in. And on this side, we'll break through there. You can see the paint really crusted it over, so I'll have to break through that a little bit and slide that through as well. And out it pops on that side. And then your tail, you can just slide in through that slit that you made and it fits like that. So there's the, the fuselage of the plane. Now we have to do the propeller. And this means that you just want to take the little brass brad that's included in your kit. And you wanna pop that through. You might need to use scissors again here, so have a parent or caregiver assist with this. And you wanna pop it through the center of your propeller. And, oh, almost. And then through the center of your paper that you trace and cut out. Try to get as dead in the center as you can. Whoops, that didn't work. And then you can pop that through as well. And then you want to um, secure it, but don't secure it too tightly because you want to have your fan blades be able to spin, like so. See how they can spin free? If you've secured it too tightly, they won't spin. So you want to secure it nice and tightly. Now, I recommend that you use um, stars to decorate your plane with. We punch some stars out of yellow construction paper with a star punch, or if you like freehand cutting stars, you can do that as well. And there are these. You can 
glue them onto the wings of your plane like so if you like or you can use some stickers sometimes kids prefer the glittery stickers and these might be easier to use and you can very easily attach these onto your plane as well you can put um, some yellow ones maybe on the edges and maybe a red one on the fuselage airplane pilots really like to decorate their planes and it's not uncommon to see that they will put designs and lettering on the sides of their aircraft. I'm talking about the military ones and not like United Airlines. They don't tend to do that quite so much. So there's that. Now last but not least is we need to glue the propeller to the front. And this is going to require some patience and some time. And what you need to do is get your Elmer's glue. I don't recommend a glue stick for this. I also don't recommend a hot glue gun. We tried that and it kept um, breaking off. I'm not really quite sure why it didn't work. I kind of thought it would. Maybe you'll have better success if you try, but we found that the Elmer's glue worked just as well. You want to line it up exactly with the shape that it is and press down and maybe sing the alphabet song or count to 20 or um, tell a story or share a joke or something to make it stick really good and fine and make sure that it's lined up and then just let it sit. We placed a heavy book on top of ours to ensure that it wouldn't fall off and we let it sit for like three hours. And after that, we took it off and it was all ready to go. And that is how you make a cardboard tube airplane. And if you want, you want to put little people inside to fly, you can do that. Um, if you actually do try to fly it around your house, whoops, see mine's not quite dry yet. If you actually do want to try to fly it around the house, um, it should be sturdier than a paper airplane, um, but it won't fly quite as well because you don't have airflow going through the tube. If you want to make it a functional paper or a functional tube plane, then leave this part off because the air will flow through the tube and it will fly pretty far. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our craft today of making a cardboard tube airplane. And stay tuned for other videos. We make a paper plate car. Ta-da! To go along with our theme. And we hope you enjoyed our story of Somewhere Else by Gus Gordon. Thanks for joining us this week. We look forward to seeing you again. Bye!